We are the Office Blokes. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. Office Bloke Daz. Here we go. That's all I've got to say about that. Yeehaw. Uh, bull, <laughs> bull fighting yeah. extraordinaires. Uh, n- not fighting. Uh, bull. Bull yeah. something extraordinary. Riding. Bull riding. I'm talking, bull about, I'm talking about us. But I was. Yeah. It's Bullshitters. Just, I, was, I was trying to drag it out because we, <laughs> yeah. we were 30 seconds into the video. Uh, yeah. okay. Bullshit <laughs> extraordinaires. Yeah. Um, this just came up in the feed. Uh, freestyle bullfighters bringing the X Games to the rodeo. Yeah, right. I, okay. I don't know what that means. So the yeah. bullfighters are the ones that actually yeah. take away the attention of the bull, aren't Correct. they? And the rider gets yeah. thrown off. Yeah, so that Jesse guy, was it, that we saw the Jesse other Byrne, day? Was it? Was that his, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. But freestyle bullfighters, I don't know what the difference no, is here. Like what, what differentiates them from that guy we watched? Mm. Yeah, not too sure. Let's check it out. Freestyle yeah. bullfighters bringing the X Games to the rodeo. I guess that's what uh, it is. <laughs> this is freestyle bullfighting. And it's as dangerous as it looks. Unlike classic Spanish bullfighting and freestyle bullfighting, you're not trying to kill the bull. You're trying to do tricks and earn points. Here's how it works. Each bullfight lasts up to a minute. The more stylish and dangerous your moves are, the more points you get. Assuming what? you don't get trampled first. You can get up to 50 points for your tricks and an additional 50 points based on the size and the ferociousness of your bull. Add those up for a total of 100 possible points. Whoever gets the most points takes home the cash. Wow. Uh, he thought he thought he had gone fruitcake as it was. I know, yeah. This is next level nuts, isn't it? They're absolutely crazy, aren't they? You know, What's wrong with these people? You know that meme that's going around that goes, huh, women? No. And it's like when something I've stupid happens and it's a guy yeah. saying that, this is the male equivalent. Mm. This is like oh, yeah. men. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like when you when you we, think we watched one that was on um like um was it bull bullfighting roulette or something when they all sit in the chairs. Yeah, they like play poker and poker, yeah. It's like yeah. The, the, the yeah. first oh, one you know, the bulls yeah. are like stumping around them. It's like chicken, isn't it? Like yeah. bullfighting chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't that yeah. people from the crowd that were doing that where there was just loads of people sat in the I whole thing? Was. Yeah, can't remember, but that was nuts. <laughs> yeah, as well, isn't it? The whole thing's nuts. <laughs> is. You wouldn't want a human running into you at full pelt, no. let alone no. like a, a, a ton bull with and horns they can do on serious, it. Serious, serious damage to these things, can't <laughs> I guess they, you've you got to think of other ways to entertain it. Yeah, so yeah. When, when you're doing stuff like um, if you're doing if you have a rodeo, and all of a sudden you've seen the guy riding the bull, and you've seen you want to see the the bullfighters doing something now, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So sort of different uh, it draws out the entertainment. It does, it does sells more beer and hot dogs? Exactly. Yeah, 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 not yeah, enough yeah. to do it. Let yeah. them do it. Yeah, I, I'm all for Insurance that. is right. Yeah. Two years ago, a bullfighter from Canada named Aaron Ferguson started a professional league called Bullfighters Only. What's a Bullfighters Only event like? It's nothing like a rodeo at all. We don't play country music or anything like that. I always thought that if we could portray our sport as an action sport and use video and, you know, slow it down and zoom in and use high quality cameras and, you know, do like every other action sport has, you know, follow that exact same blueprint that freestyle bullfighting, this type of bullfighting that BFO um, promotes, you know, it would just go. They follow that extreme sports blueprint pretty closely. They've got a slick social media account and a partner clothing brand that makes both Western wear and street wear. Oh. They also attract <laughs> outsider talent like Justin Josie. Four years ago, he'd never even been to a rodeo, but now he's one of the top freestyle <laughs> bullfighters in the country. So this is the this is the morning routine right now. Yeah, morning routine for oh, both fight. Just kind of loosening up, yeah. get things moving, you know. And so, what what is what is watching is the day of do for you? Just try to get in the mindset of the bull. In the mindset of the bull. Yeah. Try to know what he's thinking, so mm-hmm. then you can almost counter it. <laughs> <laughs> he caught himself though, man. A lot of people wouldn't have caught themselves. <laughs> lives in his van and travels the country in between competitions. I'm nervous right now, you know. I think everybody's a little bit nervous, but you just got to go out there and do what you know how to do. Right now... Imagine getting hurt when you live uh, in your van. Uh, it's, like, it's one thing going home and being looked after when you can't get out of bed with yeah. a broken leg or whatever. 
What's he going to do? Line in a van. I don't really get paid, like oh. you say, but it's. Uh, I, I don't, don't think it's going to be a lot. massive amount, is it? No. <coughs> no, it's not like he's on a tour bus, is it? No, not at all. He's on the old, old, <laughs> old A team van again, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Uh, Mr. T's going to pop out in a minute. I ain't red no bull. <laughs> That's the old uh, not allowed within two miles of a school sort of van. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got one? <laughs> But you just got to go out there and do what you know how to do. Right now, the only thing that I'm really thinking about is fighting the bulls. Like, just whatever happens, happens. Trying to let it hang out. Trying to put on a show and shut the whole place down. Today, BFO has brought six of its bullfighters to the San Antonio Rodeo. <coughs> They'll be competing for more than $25,000 in prize money. Ross Hill is 35 years old, and bullfighting is the only job he's ever kept. Normally, he'd be in the arena himself, but he's taking a break to recover from a torn ACL he sustained while doing one of his signature moves, taking a selfie with a charging bull. Oh, this is it right here. This is the one that didn't work. Take a big deep breath. For six times, yeah. and then that one happened. So you're gonna do it again? For sure. Wow. How old did they say he is? Thirty six. I don't I'm think they said sure. that. Did they say? How I old thought he was? they said he was thirty six a minute ago. Yeah, he don't look thirty. He's got, he's got a six year old haircut. <laughs> <laughs> he's the same age as me. <laughs> That's what he's up to. <laughs> again? For sure. While the rodeo heats up inside the arena, the bullfighters are trying to get in the zone. I'm getting dancing right now. I don't know if you can tell or not. I'm over here. You look like you're about to jump in there. I, I'm going to try to keep it down. <laughs> from Apache, Oklahoma, say hello and welcome to Justin Josie. As I got. So what's Justin like? If your name's Justin Josie and you're from Apache, Oklahoma, that's your job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Either a freestyle when motocross When God's giving out jobs, he's like, what's yeah. your name? Justin Josie, Apache, Oklahoma. All <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, join Got to do something to do with the rodeo, mate. Yeah. 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 All right, right. Justin Josie is the hippie of the group. He's coming to fight bulls every time. He don't look like a bullfighter. No, that's what I love about him. So one on the north, one on What the crap? What just happened? Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. All right, all right. Look down. <laughs> he slipped down his back. A good, smooth, clean jump. He just hurdled a 1,500 pound fighting bull. Man, look at, look at that guy. <laughs> All right. So the next guy up right here, this is one of my best friends. He will do any trick, anytime. He wears his shades. He is Mr. Cool. I bet you that he backflips him right out here. Really? Right off the bat? He's going to run and turn and backflip. That's okay. my guess. All right. All right. Let's watch it. Let's see if you call it. Toby's backflip was just enough to win the event. How about it for Toby Inman, our champion down below? I'm resonating. It happens. Josie came in fourth place and took home $1,500. Between prize money and sponsorships, a top ranked bullfighter can make six figures a year. But back in the locker room, nobody's really talking about money. This is our goal in life, is just go out there and hang out with all these guys. And you know, just go to bullfights and go to these rodeos and, yeah, get drunk afterwards. Just have a good time, you know? That's what we're here for. That was cool. Yeah, yeah and you know what? It was a big, it was a big like, a, a arena, wasn't it? Sort of yeah, thing. yeah, uh, of course it was. Yeah, plenty of people there. Huh? It was, yeah, good crowd. I, th yeah. I think that was, I I, that. <clears throat> that was at a bull riding event, though, wasn't it? Uh, it was. So I think that's yeah. like a halftime show or something. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> They're not all there just to see those guys. Oh, okay. Pretty decent prize money, though, isn't it? £25,000. Yeah, six figures a year. Hmm? Six well, for doing yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> no, 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 not for six figures. I'd rather not, thanks. I think they were talking about for the bullfighters, not necessarily the these freestyle bullfighters though so I don't know if these are the same guys that are in the ring I think as probably will be. I think they, they probably think will so, be you think so wouldn't you yeah if they're doing that kind of stuff the same type of danger isn't it so yeah. I mean, yeah. why wouldn't you yeah. if you do that as well it's then. just a little bit of a side hustle isn't it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah definitely 
lunatics though aren't they yeah, absolutely. would you try a backflip I wasn't even getting a field I heard a bull the other day I went to this farmhouse and, this, and I was like what's that and it's this bull over there and I went I ain't going anywhere near that <laughs> no stay clear yeah. right? honestly yeah. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. making sure it was behind the fence yeah mm. we're at that time of year in the UK where you get a story of someone getting killed by either a bull or a cow it happens yeah. with cows you quite often do, yeah. doesn't it stampede and all sorts can't they if you get on the wrong side of them and these yeah. guys are just backflipping over them for fun yeah, just, uh, <laughs> to me it seems like these guys probably go home and do parkour parkour and yeah, things like that yeah I mean, I mean you're pretty it's, agile aren't yeah. you? you've got to be pretty pretty yeah. fit and everything to do it as well haven't you well if all you need to do is one backflip pretty much and then a good consistent minute after that to win just dodging yeah, yeah. so being an athlete is the yeah. way in oh, being a gymnast yes. or yeah, something yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. Uh, mm. crazy absolutely. though absolutely what's wrong with him yeah, yeah, you guys enjoyed it <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe and catch you on the next one cheers guys cheers.